Now, the Kremlin says it's winning the race to develop new cutting-edge nuclear weapons. That's despite a mysterious rocket accident last week in northern Russia that killed at least five people and led to a temporary spike in radiation levels, something the Ministry of Defence there has denied, as Euronews' Trent Murray reports. It's been dubbed a vengeance weapon. Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier this year unveiling the Berevskinik missile, designed to be used after an initial nuclear strike and, according to defence sources, possessing an unlimited range that has the ability to overcome enemy defences. The United States says it believes a deadly explosion that occurred last week at a naval base in Russia's far north was linked to the Kremlin's hypersonic missile program. But Washington has stopped short of naming the weapon involved in the botched test, saying only that they believed it did indeed involve radioactive elements. Following the blast, five scientists were buried in the closed city of Sarov on Monday. And despite representing a potential significant setback to the Russian program, the state nuclear agency has pledged to keep developing new weapons, portraying the men who died in the tests as national heroes. Adding to the uncertainty and confusion over the missile explosion, the Russian military told residents of a village near the testing range to evacuate, only to cancel the order hours later. But authorities say they will continue to monitor contamination levels in the area. Trent Murray for Euronews.